What's up, everybody? I'm Kyle Fly, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna go to the ambush site, because why not? All right. There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. Eh, maybe. We'll see. Oh, I already see people. Hmm. Come on, game, please. That's all we got. Just defend them. I guess we'll attack one of the archers. Yep, oh, never mind. Kill him. Kill him. Jesus Christ. Jeez. I'm a little out of sorts, I guess. It's been a minute since I've played this one in particular. Gotta reacclimate to the game is all. Hmm. Now I see more in the distance. We could go that way or we could go this way. I'm feeling this way, honestly. You know me, always exploring. God, this is just... It's so easy, man. It's so easy. Ow. Wait, what? Ah, there's more down there. Here I was thinking that there was none left. Hey, 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 hey. Actually, we'll finish off the ones that we got here. And we'll also attack these archers down here since they keep hitting him. We can't exactly have him dying on us. Okay, okay, you're gonna need a potion. There we go. I will also say, um, at some point I'm real tempted to go back and, uh, get Fenris on our side. I don't know. Or maybe I could just come back to this game at a different point in time and do that. I don't know. I don't know. I just... Anders isn't bad. He's just, I don't know. I was thinking about it more and more. And, you know, I, I, I just couldn't get out of my head the fact that people kept talking about how difficult it is to get Fenris to actually, like, you know, like the romance thing is so difficult with him. And... I, can we not with this? Like, Varric, you have one job. And, and so far, you're not, you're not doing it. I swear to God, if you get caught in a trap... Apparently, he's not going to get caught in a trap at all, but he can't call it out either. Jesus Christ. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just go forward. If we get another trap, we hit another trap. I mean, it's real nice the fact that none of these spells does damage to us ever anymore. Oh, don't drink a potion, you dick. You're supposed to die. Not drink potions. Yeah, <laughs> well, fortunately for you, Varric, you're on my side. Which means you're inherently on my good side. I love how this game, like, it doesn't give you a way to go unless there's something there. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... Yeah, you know, like, these little side paths always have something. Even if it's trash, like, at least it's something. There's been too many games that I've played. Yeah. 
But there's been too many games that I've played that, you know, you have these little side paths and you're like, oh, I can do this. And it's like, for open world games, it's different because, you know, like, you can do a lot in those games and they can't exactly pack every little tight corner with something. But there's certain games where I'm like, well, why even let me go down this path if there's nothing here? I don't know, it's just a little thing of mine that I enjoy about this game. Can we just... Where's the... Ah, there he is. I guess... I don't know. I keep thinking back to like what I was saying about Fenris. So like, basically my thing is, right, is I, I like a challenge. And that's the one thing with me and like romancing in games is it's not so much the whole like, oh, I like this character more than other characters. Like it, that does play a role in it, but it's like the, like how difficult is it to romance this person? And I knew this was a thing with me ever since I first played Stardew Valley. Oh. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I have a level up. Lovely. But yeah, like, I just... I knew at that point purely because I, um... Well... You know, like, if you've ever played Stardew Valley... You can romance different people, all that jazz. Okay, one of the people you can romance is Sebastian. And I loved Sebastian. Oh, hold on. Come here. Come here. Ow. Come here, Chloe. Yeah, me and Sebastian loved him. Loved him so much. And then, once I got older, I realized, man, the reason why I like Sebastian so much is because he's hard to- he's hard to romance, you know? Like, he's hard to even, like, get to know because, like, I, I think back then, I, they might have changed it since then, I'm not sure. But at the time, it was really difficult to romance him because you'd have to, like, catch him at the right time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, there was like, here, let me just do this while I, uh, I talk about it. I'll just do a level up while I talk, basically. But the, the thing was for me was, you know, because it was so difficult to even talk to him, mentally, I was just like, oh my god, this is like, this is, this is a challenge. I love it. I love challenges. And so that kind of stimulated me in that way. And that's the pure, like, that's purely the reason why I went for it. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm looking this up while I'm describing this. Uh, <laughs> but, like, that was the thing for me was, like, I just, I loved a challenge. And for that reason, I just kept kind of going with it until I didn't feel like it was worth my time anymore. Um, and, the, and in hindsight, with that game specifically... There are so many characters that I would so much rather, like, talk to, be around, any of these things. And yet, I chose to be, you know, with him. And, like, looking back, I'm like, man, I could have really been with anybody else. But I chose him. Purely because it was a challenge. It's the same way with Fenris in this game. Where it's like, it's so challenging, it's so difficult, and that's why I want to do it. But, <laughs> is it really worth it? Eh, not really. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jail. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. 
We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. Well, whose patrol was it? So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Ooh. Somebody done did messed up. Aveline. I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. Who's routine? So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush. Let's make it you a more trouble. Um, a setup for delivery and to deliver the satchel. Your fellows are being set up. I'm saving city guards now. Oh, this may get you more trouble. You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. All right, well then. A messy way to pass information. And Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Messer, please stop. Uh, okay. Fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm just leaving. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, this is like, I, I don't know, like, my point is, is I, I really, I really want to go for Fenris, but at the same time, I'm like, is it really that I want to be with Fenris, or is it purely because I want a challenge? And this game is not giving me any of that. I don't know. I, I just... It's also like a time thing. Like for me to go back and do what I actually want would take me forever. And I don't have time for that. I got way too much on my plate. Like I, I'm thankful that I can even do these recordings on a regular basis. Like Jesus. We can't waste time, Hawk. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. I know, I know, I see the arrow, I'm going towards it. Calm, woman, calm. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing another guard. Hmm. Thugs all around. I have a feeling the captain's in on this. Otherwise, why would he be so angry about uh, us taking charge and uh, clearing out the ambush site, if you will? There you go. Oh! Haha! <laughs> you failed! Varric was moving. Now you die. Alright, anybody else? I don't see anybody else. Who? Uh, Aveline? <laughs> You're a beautiful sight. Guardsman. I mean, I, I was on patrol and they came out of nowhere. I took a few down, but there were too many at once. 
the captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. 